situated some three miles northeast of Eversham, on the eastern bank of the River Avon, is the village of Offenham. The bells ring out over this horticultural based village, which has many traditions and has, as its focal point, a maypole. One point of interest in the village is this thatch, which is the longest in Worcestershire. In the older part of the village, there are many timber-framed thatched cottages and quiet backwater streets. In the centre of the village, in every sense of the word, is the local shop and post office. The shop window also acts as a village notice board. Just up the road from the Maypole stands the Church of St Mary and St Milba. Baptisms, funerals and weddings and all spiritual needs of the parishioners are catered for here. But Offenham is mainly a working village. You can't walk many yards without seeing land being worked in one form or another. The tractor, an indispensable tool these days, being the general workhorse of the land. Many crops are grown in glass houses and polytunnels. In these tunnels are grown the flower Dianthus, more commonly known as pinks. They make a beautiful sight and give a marvellous scent. Boat Lane, besides leading down to the River Avon, houses the Laurels Nurseries. In these glass houses, some of the best tomatoes in the country are grown. No soil to be seen in here. Wall-to-wall -wall plastic helps to keep out disease, and the plants are grown in rock wall. This is a labour-intensive job, almost everything being done by hand. No machine can match the human eye in knowing when or what to pick. Health and safety is important too, so no sprays or pesticides are used. The tomatoes are picked, packed and then sent to the markets. On the open land throughout the village, there are many varieties of vegetables being grown. Of course, an important part of growing is the availability of irrigation, and here, often is fortunate enough to have the River Avon on hand. The river here is also very attractive, On the banks of the river, and right on the village outskirts, is one of the local pubs, the Fish and Anchor. The pub is popular with the fishermen and holiday makers on the river, and in caravans nearby, and has a lovely view of Offnham Weir. Following the river downstream, 
we come to the village's other hostelry. This is the Bridge Inn, although locally it is known as the Boat. Inside the pub, or in the Riverside Gardens, it's a pleasant place for a drink, and so is the Cricket Field. As in many villages, cricket is a popular game. Offenham has a good cricket pitch and it is always busy throughout the season. From one traditional pleasure, let's go to one that belongs exclusively to Offenham. The Wake. I told you you were dancing. Would you like to take your ribbon again? 